Hi, Luke Caruso from Surfcasters Journal. Today I'd like to give you a quick tip. You could take it, you could leave it. Some guys don't agree with it. But what happens is when you're transporting your rod and you're going from one place to another, guys have a tendency, they have their line going through the guides and then it comes back and they clip it off and then they put the rod up in the rack. But they tighten up that line nice and tight so that it doesn't bounce or anything. And what happens is, when you do that, sometimes what'll happen is on the tip section, your rod will have a tendency, it's tight. That line is gonna be rubbing. And you have the potential to possibly weaken your line, put a weak spot in that line. Guys have what they call mysterious break-offs on line. Um, they drop a fish and they can't figure out how. They hook a fish on the open beach. No structure, no nothing, and the line just breaks. Something to think about. That line is rubbing on, on your tip all the time. So if you're putting your rod up in a rod rack and you're transporting it, and that tip is gonna be flexing like that, do yourself a favor, put a little bit of slack in your line. It doesn't have to be a lot, just enough so that that line isn't tight on the tip section. <laughs>